Alright students, welcome to the second video in my fluid mechanics series. Today we're going to cover the applications of fluid mechanics. Now, as you can see, my handwriting is pretty bad. So if you thought that reading my handwriting on the board was bad, it's actually even worse on paper. So I strongly recommend that you come to my lectures and not just depend solely on these videos. Now today we're going to cover some of the applications of fluid mechanics. Now this is obviously one of the topics that is much more fun in class because we can come up with examples. I typically show some pictures, maybe some videos, maybe even a PowerPoint presentation, which I hate, but it's okay. But for the purposes of this video, since we're only trying to summarize our lessons, we're not trying to be too detailed, I will mention applications in four different fields. In the civil engineering field, most of fluid mechanics comes in the form of hydrologic and hydraulic studies. We, use, we civil engineers use fluid mechanics principles, particularly some of the more empirical equations, to design storm drainage systems, water and wastewater systems, to study dams, and to determine flood levels, as well as determine elevations for open channels. Now, I can go on talking all day about this because it is what I do for a living. However, most of my students are not going to be civil engineers. So I also want to talk a little bit about the applications in mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineers will use fluid mechanics principles at a bit more advanced level than civil engineers. They're going to use it for HVAC, turbo machinery, and aerodynamics. In addition to civil and mechanical engineering, there are other subfields that use fluid mechanics extensively. One such example is aerospace engineering which uses fluid mechanics principles for, for propulsion and aerodynamics. Now, just as mechanical engineers use a more advanced subset of fluid mechanics than civil engineers, aerospace engineers will use more advanced fluid mechanics principles when compared to mechanical engineers. Now, usually civil, mechanical, and aerospace engineering are the only fields covered in entry-level fluid mechanics courses. However, there are other industries that will use fluid mechanics principles. One such example is the medical technology field, where fluid mechanics principles can be applied for blood flow monitoring. So this is all that we're going to cover in this summary video. On our next video, we're going to talk a little bit about the history of fluid mechanics. But like I said, these first three videos are a little bit more interesting to cover in class because it can be a little bit more sporadic and students can bring in their own examples from the field. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.